today I'm here with a channeled message from my Arcturian guides for all astrological signs for the month of January. Happy 2020. Hey there, my name is Amira Hall. I am a spirit medium, a channel, and a quantum energy healer. I'm here to help you raise your vibration, tune into your intuition, and manifest a life you love. And if you're interested in having some predictions for 2020 and what it means for you in January and moving forward, stay to the very end. In sitting and meditating and tuning into my guides for your message for January and beyond, my guides were showing me the sun streaming through this window. And at the same time, it was pouring rain on the other side of the window. And I got a sense of the rain also on the inside at the same time as the sun was streaming in. So I had to sit with that imagery for a wee bit to figure out what was Spirit trying to explain to me. And what I interpreted is that Spirit is showing us, you know, to many of us are reaching for the light, looking for that stream of consciousness, looking for the intuition, looking for inspiration. And in looking at that a little closer and sitting with the energy, you know, I'm asking Spirit, what are you trying to explain to me for this imagery? And they explained that it's important for us at this time to really stay open, to be able to receive this new vibration, this new light that's coming into the planet. And I think I've been talking about this light coming in for some time. At the same time, many of us have this unconscious barrier. I'm looking at the glass. I can see through it. However, it is a barrier, isn't it? In some ways, it helps protect us and it's helped keep us safe and dry and maybe not exposed to the elements. However, with this new energy coming in, it's almost as if the rain is on the inside and we're in the middle of a storm. And that in order to be able to receive and open to more light, more inspiration, more abundance, receiving what we really want, our desires and our dreams and our hopes, we have to be able to be in that flow to let go of some of the, the heavy thoughts and emotions and restrictions that have can, been keeping us locked in. I understand that those patterns have served us well and those hidden unconscious barriers that we've kept from moving forward in a lot of ways in our lives, but it's time to start letting go in, in a deeper, at a deeper level to let go of some of these patterns that have been keeping us stuck because we all want that feeling of abundance and starting in the new year, we're setting goals, we've got new dreams, we've got, we're crossing things off the list, we're adding things to our lists and we're saying, yeah, this this year we're going forward and I'm definitely going to create this. So that's all great, but we have to be able to receive that. So this is the unconscious energy they're talking about having to be able to release that unconscious energy to receive more abundance. And if you need help with that, there's a link below where you can have your own private session and I can help you clear that. Then they showed me a picture of bubbles popping. They were like pop, 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 pop. And at the same time, I had the sense of being in an, air, in an airplane where you're either ascending or descending. And when your ears start to get plugged, have you ever noticed that? And some people chew gum so that they keep their ears open. You know, I've been in that experience where all of a sudden it seems like you can't hear very well. You're turning up the volume on your headset and you're not, you're having to shout and you don't realize you're shouting. My guides are explaining that this is an example of how our perceptions get cloudy, whether it's hearing, whether it's seeing, whether it's an understanding or our feelings. Those blocks have kept us stuck at a certain level. And when the ears pop, all of a sudden, wow, you can hear so clearly and your perception is so different and you start to turn down the volume and you tell people next to you, stop yelling. So <clears throat> this is an example of how we're starting to shift our patterns. And I sure hope that you can relate to that example. And as Spirit is explaining to me, you know, there's many of us that are really burnt out. We've had a lot of loss in 2019 and 2018. There's been a lot of radical changes, careers and relationships and the dynamics of our families, our careers, our financial system. And with all of that loss, you know, there is a lot of fatigue and there's some, you're really looking for some hope. I know that you're looking for that inspiration today. 
you know, after a fire, there's always something that's left that hasn't been burned. And Spirit is saying that there's some hidden treasures there for you that maybe you have, you know, walked away from or you didn't realize was as valuable as it is to you. So there are some of you that need to look for what is hidden deep within the fallout or the burnout or all the changes and look for those nuggets because those are key ingredients for you and where you're moving next and what your next step is. And then Spirit ex showed me a tornado and standing at the center of this tornado. You know, at the center of a tornado and the spin, the vortex of this massive storm is a calmness, is the center, is there's absolutely nothing happening. And Spirit's reminding us, you know, to be in that calm center of the storm. That is where your power lies. That is where you manifest what it is that you're looking to create this year and beyond. And that being centered and being present and being still and being in the total clarity of what it is that you want to create is what actually creates the vortex and the magnetic force to draw that thing, that desire, that hope to you. You know, I know there's a lot of psychics and mediums out there that are, you're looking for predictions and they're giving predictions every year at this time. And what I'm here to tell you is that you're creating your abundance with your thoughts and with those hidden feelings and those patterns. So what patterns is it that you need to release in order to change the, the future out picturing of what it is that you desire and how you want to live your life? You know, when looking at that storm energy and the rain on hitting the wind in the earlier imagery, you know, Spirit's telling me that those worries of yours are actually creating for you also. So those worries are not helping you manifest what it is that you want. And then Spirit showed me a picture of a beautiful double rainbow. A rainbow from the head to the heart and then from the heart to the head. So there was this double loop. I guess it could go like this and like this. The point is there were all these bubbles on the rainbow and the rainbow was flickering and iridescent. It was really a magical dance that was going on and, and spirit is infusing us and activating this connection, clearing the connection between the brain, our thinking, our mind, our analyzer as I refer to it, and that heart and your feelings. What's going on there is actually triggering a lot of your inspiration and your ideas, what you're allowing in. And Spirit's also reminding us that we need to, you know, surround ourselves with supportive uh, situations, events, people, turn off that TV or the news, you know, turn on some inspirational shows or music, um, you know, arts. Um, be surrounded with an energy that r helps to raise your vibration. Not only in meditation, and I really want to emphasize the importance of meditating and practicing your quantum energy tools as well. And then I asked Spirit to, to give me a card, one of my soul wisdom cards, um, to help us understand the message for us today. And this is the card they gave me. And you know, in looking at this card, I'm really inspired with the butterfly. That speaks to me first. And I see this sun in the, in the distance, you know, with this well manicured hand, you know, the precision pointing to the direction, to where we're headed, to that higher self, to your inspiration, to your divine source. And you know, the waters are calm behind the hand. But I also am drawn to the, the ribbon of patterns that is unfolding or rolling out for us to maybe take a look at, for us to release some of these patterns and roll it out and away from us. You know, there's a stopwatch, but or a, um, it looks like a stopwatch with a picture of an ancestor, um, a loved one that's deceased from old times. And you know, that's just telling me that some of our memories, some of that, the things that we're holding on to from the past that want to be released, you know, we can still hold the fond memories in our heart, but we need to release the attachment to some of them and also the angst or the loss of them. So I do feel like a lot of you are probably getting messages from your loved ones. So say, stay tuned for that and, and notice the signs around you. Also, the, um, the bracelet around the wrist is a snake-like glittering um, bracelet. And to me, that's reminding us of, you know, to release the bondage of the 
snake beings and spiders, any of my students, you know about how we talk about that and how they limit us, control us. Letting go of these limits and these unconscious energies or beings or entities that are holding us back and keeping us stuck. You know, the horizon is a little bit hazy for us. We might not be able to see yet where we're going. We have a sense of what it is that we'd like to create in our life, but everything's not clear and it's not all, you know, sharp for us. So that's where we need to keep clearing the energy, trust in your intuition and be patient. And again, I can't emphasize enough, having an energy clearing will help you on your path and, and be crystal clear to manifesting and drawing magnetically easily without effort um, those dreams that you have. And now tuning in, and I asked Spirit, you know, to give me one of my paintings um, to show us a little bit more to what it is that they're trying to explain to us about this new energy in 2020 for January. And, you know, funny it is, this rainbow painting, I call it Rainbow Fusion. And as you look at this painting, you know, the bubbles, of course, are prominent, and also the three, the rainbow. Um, the rainbow swipe, as I call it, you know, I see the texture in this painting is almost like uh, an alligator skin. You know, alligator skins or, or crocodile skins are really thick and really resilient. And for some of us, our patterns are so stiff and stuff, stuffy and long held and maybe ancestral patterns that we've it's time to let go of. So besides that, you know, the colors are rich and strong and robust. You can see the flow. You can see some bends, some twists and turns, but it's relatively straight. You know, if we go to the light, we're drawn in a particular direction that will be strong and powerful and, and absolute for each of us. Look at the colors, you know, they make me want to dance. They're exciting, they're powerful, they're vibrant, and, you know, I just really, it's bubbling up with surprises and hopes and dreams that are coming to the surface. So, wow, with all of that, I guess my second take might have been better than my first, it always probably is. And with all my heart, I wish that you have all of your heart's desires in 2020. And I really want to thank you for joining me here on my channel, for supporting me, for being participating, leaving your comments, giving those thumbs up. That way YouTube will show the video to more people and we can inspire more. So with that, I'll leave you to celebrating the new year and however that looks for you. And I'll see you on my next video. I've been doing this kind of work for a long time in different areas. The shifts and the clearings that have happened to me since we started this are, they're, they're miraculous. That's all I can say is these are miraculous. I have received healing that I have needed for most of my life. For me to be able to trust that the miracle is coming and not go into fear and doubt and anxiety, because that's what kept stopping it, kept stopping the manifestations in my life in the past. Because in the past, I would say, I trust God, I trust God, I trust God. And then if the miracle or the thing that I was expecting to happen or looking for didn't happen soon enough, then I would take over and I would take God's spot and make it happen myself. And that is, that's a very tiring way to live a life. And I feel like I have calmed down to the point where I really can trust that I am manifesting my highest and best good and I can wait till the time is right. That is huge. I just feel like I'm a different person.